A pause button so they can stop and investigate means new guidance for people under 55. There is substantial uncertainty about the benefit of providing AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine to adults under 55 years of age, given the potential risks. Those potential risks, a rare type of blood clot. No known cases in Canada, but a few dozen reported in Europe, mostly among young women with some deaths. We want this vaccine program to be safe. Um, and while you know we still believe that probably the benefits for all ages outweigh the risks, I'm not comfortable with probably. Initially pegged at one in a million, new data from Germany puts the risk at one in 100,000. So Canada is pressing pause until it gets even more data from Europe. This vaccine has had all the ups and downs. It looks like a roller coaster. Canada's AstraZeneca guidance has changed before. At first warning, nobody over 65 should use it. Later saying it was okay. Now saying it's only for 55 and up. This can be confusing, and especially with this vaccine that's had a lot of, um, you know, confusion uh, surrounding it. AstraZeneca says it will work with Health Canada but defends its vaccine. Regulatory authorities have concluded that the benefits significantly outweigh the risks across all adult age groups. Tens of millions of people have now received our vaccine across the globe. That includes about 300,000 Canadians. The recently vaccinated are being told to watch for symptoms. Such as shortness of breath, chest pain, leg swelling, persistent abdominal pain, sudden onset of severe or persistent worsening headaches or blurred vision, and skin bruising, other than at the site of vaccination. Some European countries stopped using AstraZeneca entirely when blood clots appeared. Most have resumed using it, several with age restrictions. But public confidence in the vaccine has dropped. A significant concern here in Canada, with one and a half million doses set to arrive on Tuesday. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa.